In rural southern Maryland, not far from the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay, sits the most comprehensive maritime training school in the country. On this 100-acre site in St. Mary's County, the Seafarers International Union trains the current and next generation of men and women needed to serve on U.S.-flagged merchant marine ships and on vessels run by the U.S. military Sealift Command. The Coast Guard requires it. Whether they're transitioning from the military or they're just coming in as entry-level cadets in our apprentice program, they mandate training before you can sail. Like people think everything comes from Walmart. <laughs> it really doesn't. Everything comes on a ship, right? Ricky Rivera has been on dozens of these massive container vessels. He comes back to Paul Hall Center to upgrade his skills and certifications. At any given time, there are several classes of budding mariners here, enrolled in the center's extensive registered apprentice program. Some are very young, like Dylan uh, Anderson. I just graduated high school. Others, like Daniel Bynum, are older, with the sea in their genes. I come from a family of Great Lakes sailors. I'd be the fourth generation. And what experiences these young people have in their registered apprentice program, like learning to fight fires. In this exercise as well, they're getting uh, fundamentals as to when you're on a hose line, when you're in a different position, what your job is at each position. So we have a nozzle person, a backup person, and a backup team. They become adept at swimming to lifeboats and rowing them too. They practice rescuing victims in the water and plugging leaks in mock engine rooms flooding from accidents at sea. They become expert with ropes. Stand a bow or not. They study welding and how to take apart valves and pumps. And in simulators, they pilot ships in a variety of weather conditions and respond to emergencies in the engine room. We can simulate um, a lo loss of lube oil, loss of fuel oil, a loss of an engine, loss of power. Um, loss of control of steering. Um, anything we can we can do out there, we can do here. Apprentice stewards learn to chop, peel, cook, plan menus, and order supplies to keep crews well fed even when the boat is rocking. So you need to take some safety steps so that when the ship does take a roll, things don't begin to fly off of shelves and create accidents and people get injured. That's why discipline from making hospital corners to obeying commands is such a major part of the culture and training. When you're out in the middle of the ocean, you're not going to get much of a signal. So if you can't adapt and conform here with the program while they're on deck, they're going to have a real hard time struggling on a ship because they're not going to have that capability. After an initial 15 weeks here at Piney Point, all apprentices hit the high seas. You do three months on a ship in each department, deck, galley, engine. And then uh, from there, you come back to the school, you decide which department you want to go into from your experience on those three months. But engine was mo the most interesting that I could see myself doing long term. A former Marine, Levon Prophet, wants to be a container ship captain. I'm, I think I'm prepared for it. I think I'm ready for it. Where have you been? <laughs> um, pretty much all over Europe. Uh, I just made it to the Middle East this past voyage. So I've been to Asia. I went to Greece, Suda Bay, Greece, Athens, Greece. Great food over there. I got to go to Belgium and Germany and the UK. I would like to travel the world. And I, don't, I would like to travel for free, so that the school gives me the opportunity to do all of this. And acquire skills that can be applied on land, too. I could definitely sous chef. I don't have to work at the franchise restaurants. I can actually work at a professional restaurant with fine cuisine because of training through this school. Because most merchant mariners are at sea three quarters of the year, their family time is limited, but completely their own. When I'm home, I get to do everything with them. You know, like I was just home for two months, 24 hours a day. So it, it's awesome quality time. The training and lodging here are free, paid for by the major domestic shipping lines that contract with the Seafarers International Union to provide them with well-qualified employees. Someone who wants to be in control of their own destiny, someone who wants to be in a situation where they're guaranteed advancement, uh, someone who is going to embrace the lifestyle of a merchant mariner are the type of people who should come. For more information on the Registered Apprentice Program at the Paul Hall Center for Maritime Training and Education, visit seafarers.org. The challenge, the travel, and the opportunity to learn, earn, and grow starts here.